Tangerine. At the Minneapolis Lindale Farmers Market, you'll find your pick of flowers. So we're at several markets. And growers who have been here for years. Hope for the best. As a farmer and board member of the Central Minnesota Growers Association, Jenna Nelson can call the trends. The smaller ones sometimes just don't have the clients. Leading to the closings of some neighborhood markets. Because there's so many in so many towns, there's not enough um, customers to actually support a market in every single small town. According to the Minnesota Farmers Market Association, there were about 75 markets in the early 2000s and about 250 to 300 today. These are pot of flowers. A reality that called for a farmers market market correction. But those in the field say the big markets will survive. Just ask Mao Lee with the Minneapolis Farmers Market. Lots of people are saying that they, they still want to keep doing this. And Christian Banson Wiggle over in Maple Grove. No, this is the opening day of our 16th season here at the Maple Grove Farmers Market. Christian says farmers markets are actually thriving and those worried about a looming closure can consider a simple solution. Get out there and find a market that really fits with your schedule, with your expectations. It's a great way to get your food to buy direct from the grower. And on top of all those market demands, growers are also dealing with a cold, wet spring. They're hoping Mother Nature delivers a warmer May and beyond. In Maple Grove, I'm Carla Holt, CARE 11 News.